This is my review of the Basin 36 from the North Face. Now there are different sizes of this Basin backpack. This is the largest at 36 liters. The most considerable noticeable difference is these pockets here on the side. If you get one of the smaller versions, obviously it won't have as much capacity, but it also won't have these side pockets here and also this belt that connects as well. So each one of these has a pocket that does have a good amount of storage. It's pretty deep, actually, probably three and a half inches deep, I would say, and it's probably a good eight inches wide. So you can put quite a bit of different stuff in there. I put my keys in one with my chapstick, and then also on here I have a flashlight and a multi-tool, typically. Now, on the front of it, there's only two main pockets. There's this small pocket here, which this is my biggest complaint, is how tiny it is, and it only has one zipper. And it only goes one direction. So you can see that it's only four or five inches deep. It does have a thing that you can attach your keys to. But if I were to make an improved version of this, this is something I would definitely change. It does have a large main compartment. It does have one little extra pouch here, but it's not padded or anything like on the other, like a school North Face backpack would be padded back here. It's not the case in this one, but it is pretty deep down in there. You can get a lot of stuff in there. That's why I bought this for day hikes. And if I wanted to use it for say traveling a little bit, this was a good backpack to have as you can fit a lot of different stuff in here. Now on the back is where you put the bladder right here. But the thing that I don't like is that there's no way to attach the bladder to say to one of the shoulder straps to keep it from flailing around. This mesh piece here, it doesn't open up on the bottom. And then there's another little opening here and my bladder tube won't fit through that. So it's kind of a poor design in my opinion. Now it does have one of these little straps right here that I use to hook a uh, knife on so that I have it on my shoulder so I can use it as I need. It does have the chest connecting straps so you can pull it tight. It does also have adjustable straps here on the shoulders which I really like because you can pull this tight and it'll get tighter this way here on your shoulders. So it does have a lot of ability to be comfort fit to how you like to carry your backpack and depending on how much weight that you have. It does have a rain fly, which is down here. Now this button that you can see isn't buttoned. I just buttoned it before I started this. It is really terrible that it is very weak and it doesn't stay buttoned very easily. So it's really flimsy. It doesn't take much strength to undo this button. This needs to be improved also in my opinion. It does have one roll of vertical molly, which I also think is lackluster. It should be the other way and there should be multiple rows. Or if you have it vertical, there should be multiple rows. It does have like a kangaroo pocket here where you can also tighten whatever you have in there with these straps here. Or you can use them to say secure something also pull it tight this way. Below the rain fly, there's also two straps with clips that you can say put your sleeping roll or a sleeping bag and cinch it tight. Now when you undo the rain fly, there's these red tabs on the back and on the sides right here, right here and on the other side. That's where the rain fly attaches to. Now I did use this while it was raining and it did work really well and it kept everything in the backpack dry. This is what I like about this backpack more than my Camelback backpack that I have. That's even more deluxe than this that I would use for say overnight camping and that you can put anything and everything in. It just doesn't have a rain fly, but this does. So it'll keep all your gear and stuff nice and dry. It does have a carrying handle. It has this little clip here to, I don't even know what this is for either. I don't know what purpose this serves. I have no idea. There's also this right here that you can cinch tight 
or you loop it through. I think this is for uh, attaching your trekking poles and then pulling them tight. I think that's what it's for, but I really don't know. So there was no real explanation when I bought it. I looked on the website, read all about it. I looked at the, you know, the tag that came with it. Still don't know what some of the stuff is actually designed for, but I do like that it does have this little strap up here. So this is where I loop the uh, bladder through, but then it just hangs down and flops around. There's no like plastic thing to hook it to, to keep it secure to your chest. Um, I do like the fact that these are really adjustable and that you have a lot of adjustability between the shoulder straps on two different places, not only down here, but up here. You also have the bottom strap and then the chest strap so that you can really secure this thing and it can be worn however you see um, fit and however much load that you have with it. So I'll show you how the Rainfly works. It's so easy to take that apart. That button is really, really too flimsy. So you see it's got these little hooks on here and what you do is you just loop them through the red things on the back and the side. Just do one to show you. So you see it loops through right there and then you do the ones on the side and it pulls it tight so that you have the rain fly and it covers a good majority of the pack and it's easy to roll up under there once you're done using it. But that button that secures the little flap that keeps it closed is pretty much useless and it's always undone. I always find myself snapping it back on there and then when I go to grab the bag the next time, it's already undone. So it's a really minor thing, but it is quite annoying and it is uh, poor design. I think also that the lack of molly here is a real poor design, only one row and going vertical instead of multiple each one direction or the other. One row is kind of useless, in my opinion. Um, the carry handle could be a lot bulkier. It's really thin and kind of flimsy looking. Um, the shoulder straps are nice and thick and they do have some of that breathable material to them. Same with the back, it's breathable material too. So, you know, when you're hiking and you're sweating in it, you know, one of the worst things is when you take your backpack off and then you put it back on and you're all sweaty and you put it against your sweaty back, but it does dry out really well. Um, there is a few things that I would change, but it does also have these side pockets here for say water or whatever else. I usually put my clubs or my hat in there, um, easy access to get to. I would change the depth of this pocket and make it bigger. Um, I would add more molly and I would make this button more than a little, uh, durable than what it is right now. It's pretty flimsy. But other than that, this is a good design. It just could be improved upon. And I'm kind of so-so on these. Um, I do like the extra storage, but I don't really know if it's necessary. I do like the cinching straps to keep it nice and tight and to equally distribute the load, I would call it. But these are only necessity pockets because this pocket here is so small and lacking I would say but overall for the price and the features and how much I've used it already I would say it's worth it but if I had to give it a rating I would say only three maybe three and a half stars out of five because they need to have a few more features for it to be backpacker friendly like having something to attach the bladder tube to so it doesn't flail around needs to have a bigger pocket here with the uh, zippers that go both ways and the rain fly button to keep it closed shouldn't be so flimsy and so easy to undo. Um, other than that, I really like this backpack. I'm glad that I got the biggest one because this pocket being so small, I need these extra other pockets to put my keys in and stuff. So um, if you're looking to get a hiking backpack, this is suitable, but I think that there would be others within the same price range that you could also get by with that would be um, similar to this and have the same amount of features for the price. So this is my review of the Basin 36 backpack from North Face. Please stay tuned for more gear reviews.